<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, a multiverse is the idea that there's not just one universe, but many. Uh, every Big Bang produces a universe. Uh, was there just one Big Bang, or were there many Big Bangs occurring at different places at different times? People think that the idea of a multiverse uh, sounds horribly unscientific, like science fiction, wild thoughts. Uh, but from my point of view, and from I think a lot of the, us working in this area, uh, it's really the other way around. Uh, how many things do we know about in science that we think we can understand that happen only once? Is there only one star? Is there only one planet? Uh, anything that can happen uh, that can be described by the laws of physics uh, happens again and again. Uh, so I think it's far more likely from this point of view that we live in a multiverse than that we live in a single universe. One possible proof is the observation of, of evidence for a past collision with another universe. In, in some ways, the idea of a multiverse is very disappointing to scientists uh, because it means that uh, many of the fundamental questions that we would like to understand the answers to maybe are just answered because of randomness. Uh, different things happen, and this is when we happen to observe. W one issue which the multiverse uh, raises, which we still don't really know the answer to, is that the multiverse makes it uh, very difficult to talk about probabilities. What do you mean when you say something is probable or improbable? Uh, the issue is simply that in the context of the kinds of multiverses that we imagine, uh, any event that's physically possible uh, will occur an infinite number of times. So if you think that the birth of a two-headed cow is rare compared to the birth of a one-headed cow, it's hard to know what that means, if they're both going to happen an infinite number of times. Certainly, if we can convince ourselves that we live in a multiverse, it would dramatically change our view of the structure of space and time. Uh, and would also say important things about what the fundamental laws of physics would have to look like uh, to allow the multiverse to exist. Uh, so it would have tremendous repercussions on the understanding of fundamental science.